All right, how's it going, YouTubers? Today I'm going to um, <coughs> I'm going to be painting a marshland uh, scene with a with a heavy uh, sunset. I hope you like it. I'm going to be doing it on this 11 by 14 inches canvas board. And uh, I got my coffee ready, so mm, super yummy. Check. <laughs> and let's go. Let's go for it. Okay. I hope you guys enjoy it. I certainly will. I know I will. And uh, let's do this. All right. Cool, cool, cool. You know, sometimes I, I had a, I had some artist tell me about my horizon line that was crooked or something. Yeah. That's some some art. I sell my stuff on eBay, so every now and then I get people telling me what they think. You know. <laughs> so they'll send me messages like, "Hey, man, your horizon line is off." Yeah. For those of you who don't know what I, this is the horizon line, okay. it's off, man. You're 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 not a uh, you're not owning your skill, stuff like that, you know, funny stuff. <laughs> but uh, I I never really cared about it, right? Until I was like, well, maybe I should check into this. Well. Um, I realized that I've been painting my horizon line a certain way for a long time. Uh, to some people it appears crooked, I don't know why. But uh, I found out I had a, uh, some type of a stigmatism. <laughs> and, uh, and I see things uh, slanted when I'm not wearing my glasses, of course, right? So I think that that that's where that comes from because I started seeing my older paintings before I started wearing glasses, and and I, I saw what what they were talking about. But in my uh, Greco-esque mind, I was I was doing masterpieces. <laughs> so sorry guys out there who who uh, told me about my horizon line, and I was like, whatever man, let me work. Uh, I think I still paint it crooked. I don't know why. Maybe it's memory. Maybe maybe some type of muscle memory. <laughs> but don't be offended. I I think that uh, horizon lines are not really straight. I think they they curve. This is what I think, based on my personal observation. And they look straight, you know, just like just like many things in in, in the world look to the eye. If it's not, if you're not, if you're not looking at it enough, it looks uh, very symmetrical. But once you start looking at it, you kind of start losing that that uh, symmetry. It becomes more abstract. It becomes more bent to me, right? I mean, I, I've had this. Uh, for instance, uh, I've had this. Uh, Exercises that I like to do, I, I, I've always, I've always enjoyed doing them, especially when I was younger. I had more time to, uh, to kill, right? But I like to do something. I would like to go and stare at something until, until it started. Uh, my, my eyes started seeing beyond what I was seeing. I don't know if I make any sense to, to some of you, but um, until, until whatever I was looking at. I look at it so intensely, without trying to to imagine anything, without trying to to um, to add any of your 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 mental fluff in there, right? Any thought or any anything. You just you just intensely stare at something. Maybe if you do portrait paintings, intensely stare at your subject. If you're a landscape artist, you know, intensely stare. At the sky or whatever on the landscape, the pastoral, you know, um, you'll discover something. You know, 
you'll discover that one, you're gonna start seeing things you've never seen before, colors you've never seen before. Being intense, not uh, not not studying, not for the purpose of study. This is this is more uh, experiential. You know, it's not it's not so much. Um, It's my belief that if you're an artist uh, and you're learning by it from someone else, you don't you you learn how to see like someone else or or a group of people agree, right? A group of people say the sky is uh, darker up here and then it's lighter down here, or you know, and that's fine. I mean, nothing wrong with that. But if you do your own your own observations, you'll find out things you it, it'll blow your mind if you start doing your own observations. And that's one thing that I like to do. When I when I uh, when I used to have more free time, I used to love doing that. And that's those, that was one of the reasons I I started um, painting more more abstract, more impressionist type, you know. I started. Uh, you, you sort of gaze at something, you know. You, you you look at it so intensely at your subject that it starts losing its. The lines start moving. They start losing its shape. You you no longer have shape. You have something beyond shape, and you no longer have a uh, just color. You have movement. You have you have all these things happening without adding any any ideas or any you know. Just try it. I invite you to try it. Just observe. Just sit sit there. If you're a landscape artist, do it today. If you have a little bit of time, go out there. You don't have to go somewhere. You know, you don't have to go. <laughs> you can do it at your at your apartment, your house, or whatever. But just stare at your subject so intensely. And I mean intensely to it with all the attention in the world. Just just staring at it. Don't 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 forcefully do it. Just you know, you get my point. Just stare at it. And it will become a what I like to say you stare at something enough, it becomes a teacher. Especially especially something that's alive. You know, uh, maybe not a piece of plastic, but but you you even see it there. You stare at it enough. But you you will notice it even even uh, more faster, maybe more alive when you stare at something. For example, if you're a, if you're a still life artist, stare at some flowers. Stare at a flower, but really stare at it. And and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. All of a sudden, the colors and it might take practice. It might not be the first time. Okay. It might take practice, depending on, on how cluttered your mind is. If your mind is, is very cluttered, it might take a little practice. If your mind is not so cluttered, you may see it immediately. Uh, it doesn't matter. Just do it. There are flowers. There are sky. Intensely. And it will become your teacher. It will show you something that you've never seen before. And not as... as uh, it'll show you, you know, I'm not talking about some <laughs> mental trip you're going to do. Um, I'm talking about you'll see things you've never seen there before because it's, it's very spiritual. The act of painting, I believe, and doing anything with full attention is very spiritual. And you will discover things that you haven't seen before. There it is. There's my marshland. My intense marshland. Let me. Um, there you go. I hope you you enjoyed it. I sure did. And until next time.